my dude. So I decided to make a video today on how I genuinely do my makeup now. I'm trash. I still don't know how to do makeup. This is Coda. As you know, I'm pretty sure those of you that are still here, there's no one here who, what am I getting? But I did my face today and I'm pretty proud of how I've been doing my makeup recently, I guess you could say. But like I said, I'm not a professional. I still have no idea what I'm doing. So like if you have any pointers or tips or like anything of the sort that will help me be better, <laughs> please drop them in the comments below and thank you so much. So today we're gonna start off with the brows. I have a brunette and a dark brunette. We are starting off with dark brunette. It is in the L'Oreal Paris Brow Stylist Shape and Fill. And I'm just gonna outline my brows and fill them in about midway with the dark brunette. From there, we're gonna go in with our brunette and we're gonna fill in the front of our brows very, very lightly. You don't want it to be too dark there. And I will be honest, mine is broken, so I do push it up a little bit and turn it upside down. And then I give a few lines in the front to make it seem like there's hair there. I do have hair, you know, for my brows, um, but I do like to give it that little accentuation, I guess you could say. Is that even a word? Probably not. And then I go in with the spoolie, and I take my finger and I wipe off the excess that I don't want to be there, including underneath. And from there I go in with my infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation in Golden Beige, number 104. That does retail for $10.97 at Walmart, and I just dot it all over my face. And then I go in with my $20 Sapphire Beauty Blender, and I blend all of that into my face and down my neck. Just blend, blend, blend. And once you're happy with that, you go in with your concealer. I am using the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Full Wear in shade Vanilla, number 355. That does retail for $10.97, the same as the foundation from Walmart. I'm honestly sure that it's too light for my skin tone, but you know it works and I have it, so that's what we're gonna use. And you just blend, blend, blend with your beauty blender. I do do it in sections. I do little triangles underneath my eye and then on my chin. From there, I believe I go to my forehead and outline my brows, yep. The reason I do it in sections this way is because honestly, the times that I've done it all at once, it does lift up the foundation that I laid down before. So just to avoid that, I do it in sections. That way it doesn't lift up. But that, well, that would be my only issue with this, I would say. And once you're happy with your blending, I go in with my Ome Pressed Powder. I believe that the shade is 100 My Best Light. Uh, it is hypoallergenic and dermatologist tested as well as oil free. I do enjoy it and I just slap it all over for the most part, including down my neck and above on my eyes. And then I take my blush brush, I believe is what it's called. Yeah, no, 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 it's called Full Blush by Eco Tools. And I use that to wipe off the excess powder as well as to buff it in. So the powder did get all over my brows, so I took a little water and just revived them. That's all I did there. And from there, please do not laugh at me. I have a very old, very outdated, very broken, very messy peach palette by Too Faced that does retail for $49 and I'm using my angled foundation brush and I'm taping that in Charmed I'm Sure and I'm using that as my what's it called bronzer that's not what it's called I had the right word earlier goodness and I just use that on my nose my cheeks, above my forehead, on my jawline, and a little bit under my lower lip. 
because I do have very small lips and for some reason I feel like it does something there to help them look a little bit bigger, but honestly it probably does not. And from there I take my blush, my full blush brush by Eco Tools, and I buzz that all out, make sure it's not too harsh. And from there I take my blurring brush which is very ironic because it's the more compact brush out of the two eyeshadow brushes here comes the sneeze <clears throat> bless you past cat and anyway so i take that blurring brush the more compact one into charmed i'm sure and i put it on the outer corner of my eyes and the reason i find it so ironic is because the other brush is called the defined crease you would think that they would be reversed, but who knows? What do I know? And from there, I'm using the Defined Crease, crease brush, and I'm blending that all out. From there, I'm taping, taping, what? I'm taking my blurring brush, sticking it into Summer Yum, and I'm still in the outer corner of my eyes, but slightly more inward from where we just laid the charmed, I'm sure. And we're just going to each eye. And there I'm using the defined crease blush, blush, brush, Jesus. The defined crease brush to blend that out, my bad. Can't talk today. And then I go in with Georgia and White Peach. It doesn't matter which order you go. I dip them into both and I go into the inner corner of my eye and kind of just lay that there into the middle, from the inner to the middle. And from there, I blend that. And then what all I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna go back into all the colors that I've used, make sure they don't get lost within each other. And yeah. And then from there, still going back, make sure nothing gets lost. And then this is one of my favorite brushes that one of my very good friends, Cedar, got me. I'm taking that into the Steve Laurent Rose Gold Loose Powder. It is a highlight, at least that's what I believe it is, because it's sparkly. And I take that and I put it all over my lids on top of everything I've just done to make it, you know, look semi better. <laughs> that does real uh, goodness, retail for $18. I got it from one of my good friends, Andrea, the Steve Laurent powder. She uses Ipsy and that's where she got it from. And then I'm going in with my angled liner brush into Moon Dust. I'm not sure who it's by, as the packaging does not say, unfortunately, but it is made in Italy, so that's pretty cool. And I'm using that as the highlight for my shadow, just under my brows. And if I didn't say already, the Alme powder does retail for $9.89 at Walmart. And then I'm going in with that same moon dust into the corner of my eyes, just to, you know, highlight those little areas. And then I'm going back in with my angled liner brush into Delectable, and I'm putting that underneath my eyes. I got that from Jeffree Star. And then from there, I'm going in with Bellini. I'm going just under the delectable that I just laid down. And we're just doing the same thing on the other eye, as you should, unless you wanna have two different eyes. That'd actually be pretty cool if you use the right colors. And then from there, I'm going in with my favorite liner by e.l.f. It is in the shade of Midnight. Uh, the only bad thing I guess I could say about this is um, sometimes whenever you wash your face, it does leave behind a little bit of a blue tint wherever it was laid. 
um, but for me that's not a very big issue as I do wear a liner each and every day so that's not too bad it's just kind of like a little little helpful thing for me to lay it down exactly where it was the day before but I guess that could be the only negative thing I'd have to say about it other than that if you have small eyes like I do, um, it really, really does help because for me, it is the only liner that I have ever used that does not leave that annoying little line. If you have small eyes like me, then you know what I'm talking about. It's super annoying and super frustrating after you've just spent so much time on your shadow and then it just gets, you know, all over the place. So this is the only one that I've had that does not do that. Um, but now I'm going in with my Voluminous Superstar two-part mascara. I'm going in with the primer first, of course. And as that dries a little bit, I'm going back in with the Steve Laurent Loose Powder in Rose Gold. And I'm using that to highlight all my highlight areas, such as on my cheeks, the sides of my face, my nose, on top of my upper lip. And yeah. And then from there, I will go into the Moon Dust highlight that I have. Again, I'm so sorry, I don't know who it's by or how much it retails for, but it was made in Italy, so that's super cool. I use both, I'm not sure why, I just like the way it looks. That's why I do it. And then from there I'm going back to the second part of the mascara and blacking, blackening it up. We don't wanna walk around with white lashes. I mean, I'm sure that would look cool with a good look, with a, you know, a look that you've prepared, but that was not the look we were going for today, so. And that mascara, if I haven't stated already, does retail at Walmart for $9.76. If I didn't say, um, the brow mechanical pencil things that I use do retail for $9.97, if I haven't said already. And then from there, I just take a towel that I had, wipe off any access foundation or concealer that's left on my lips, and I am going in with MAC Lip Glass in shade Enchantress. Number A88, again that is A as an alpha, 88, that does retail from what I could find on the internet for $17.50. And that is the end of the look guys, thank you so much for watching. I loved spending this time with you and I feel like I did really good on this look, so thank you so much. Here's a little close up and have a great day.